Hey, you know, there's one guy I've known for decades, and he's always given me inside information, and it's always proven to be 100% accurate. He's the same guy that told me, and I made a video about it, like in November, December of last year, and he told me that Olympus would be kaput by June, July, right? Yeah. He was, oh, you're crazy. It's like, no, my source is 100% reliable, and that's exactly what happened. He told me something else, and he's always had a 100% track record, okay? Canon actually has done a silent recall on the R5. Yes, they have. people say, well, there's some R5s out there in the wild. I bought an R5. This is true. <clears throat> he confirmed it to me, though, that Canon has done a silent recall of the R5. They did let some, because otherwise it would look like a complete recall. Yeah, they did let some out into the woods. The reason for that means that actually they don't actually have to recall so many units when they actually come up with a fix. It has to be something more than firmware. It could merely be firmware. But he confirmed to me that 65 units, he's in the camera business, were heading to a major retailer. Yes, they were already in shipment to the retailer from a distribution node. Yeah, 65 Canon R5 units. What Canon did is they put the brakes on that shipment and they let 10 or 12 go through. But they took the ones that were already boxed up and on their way there and they did a U-turn back to Canon. Okay, I don't care if you believe me or not. My source has always had 100% reliability on this. He's an inside guy in the camera industry. Not only has he never lied to me, everything he's told me has always turned out to be 100% true, including the last bit of information about Olympus going out of business, because I made a, bit, a video about it in November. I said, six months, the interior of Olympus is gutted. Six months from now, Olympus is gone. And it was exactly six months when I made that video on the end of November, or the first part of December of last year. So, take that for what you will. What's going on in the camera world other than the Fujifilm X-T4 coming out? You know, Canon, of course, has dropped a lemming. Um, obviously, for photography, it's perfectly fine. Canon still has, even the best uh, Canon fanboys. I love, by the way, the uh, website EOS uh, HD. Uh, the guy really says it like it is. I love the EOS. He probably doesn't like me. I forget the guy that runs EOS HD, but it's actually a great website for information. Um... Canon still has really bad dynamic range. Uh, it looks like a killer camera if they ever fix it. Um, I don't know anybody that's actually buying the uh, new Sony A7 uh, S3. I know it is a video specific. Unfortunately, it's only 12 megapixels. So it's neither a very good video camera because it overheats and it's not a good photography camera because there's basically no croppability because it's only 12 megapixels. <laughs> so. <laughs> We should all actually, even though the camera market's in the dumps for everybody, we should all pretty much rejoice and go out and enjoy our photography. We don't actually have to stress about new cameras and new lenses this year. You know, isn't it nice to take a year off and not have to worry about new cameras and lenses? Isn't that nice? I spent nine hours today focused on product photography using my GFX camera. I got a uh, big product uh, photo gig, and uh, I've been busting my butt in the basement. Lighting, I, I reshot the same product shot like 50 times, and I sent off uh, proofs to the client, and they wanted this change and that change, and they finally, oh, that one's, that's exactly what we want. So, a lot of work today, but, uh, you know, the whole world is upside down and on its head, but and the photography community is just, you know, there's just crickets out there. There really is. And I understand people are struggling and they can't pay the bills. Hell, my revenue is way down, too. I mean, it's way down. I have three jobs, thankfully, so I'm diversified. I do work seven days a week. Uh, I sold off several hundred old Nikkor lenses I don't use anymore. Um, bought a small piece of property. I'm going to start growing SD cards. Yeah, I'm going to start up an SD card farm. Just kidding. Um, 
But there's nothing going on in the photography world this year because of this. And it's just, everything is just ground to a complete and total halt. Nearly so. Um, this is like the whole world has gone into a reset. And the photography community, uh, gear-wise and lenses and whatnot, has really gone into a reset. The only thing I'm looking forward to and I'm saving up money for is the 30mm GF uh, Fuji lens. I uh, borrowed it for a, uh, a week and a half, and it's awesome. It's a perfect complement to the 45. It's basically the same size, essentially so, nearly so. Um, that's the only thing, uh, photography-wise, that I'm saving up for right now. I've got all the lighting in the world. I'm using my Godox 8200s in the uh, basement uh, for uh, product work. Yeah. There's no Photo Plus convention this year. There's no... I mean, everything is just shut down. Everything is just ground to a halt. I got three jobs and work seven days a week, and I'm still struggling to, you know, try to even keep close to what I normally make, money-wise. And I don't make that much to begin with, but I'm making a lot less now. Oh, well. That's the nature of stuff. I still love my Fujifilm camera, though. I love my GFX. Man, between my X-T4 and my GFX cameras, I could do everything. Except for I need a tilt-shift lens. I need a tilt-shift lens for the GF mount. Oh, please, God, Fujifilm, where the heck is your, your tilt-shift lens for the uh, GFX series of cameras? Where is it, Fuji? Where is it? Where is it? I'm waiting still. Thanks. Bye.